All right, so yeah, it's just let you know who, who he's talking to. All right, it said, For I would that ye knew the great comfort I have with you for them at um, Lydokia. All right, so I pronounced that, Let's see if I pronounced that correctly. And uh, so, lock if I didn't, you know, I don't pronounce this word every day. All right, so. Strong G 2993, Lydokia. Ladikia. Ladikia. Okay, so Ladikia. All right, so that's how you uh, pronounce it correctly. All right. Ladikia. Okay. All right, means justice of the people, city of Far Egeus, which when the river like is not far from Colossae. All right. Okay. So, uh, if you go back, all right, you read up in here, and that's the problem, you Christians, you don't read, all right, you go to, uh, eight, it says, uh, where is it, all right, yeah, verse 214, blotting out the handwriting, the ordinance that was against us, this is Paul talking, what is the ordinance? Go up in there. Dogma. All right. All right. So lock. I don't mean to do it. All right. Go right here. Dogma from base law, civil ceremony, decree, ordinance. Okay. Doctrine, decree, ordinance. A public decrees of Roman Senate rulers, rules, requirements of the law of Moses, carrying a suggestion of severity and threatened judgment. All right. So who was getting the law, statute, commandments? The Israelites. All right. Okay. That's who, he, that's who Paul is talking about. All right. All right. In uh, Colossians 2.14. All right, because you had a lot of jakes. They was claiming back then, uh, not all Pharisees was wicked, but you had like among them, you had wicked Pharisees, you had wicked Sadducee, you had Jake. They would say they keep the law, statutes, commandments. All right, but they just being wick, wicked, as, uh, wicked as, uh, as hell, you know. And number one, if they did, if they was obeying the law, statutes, commandments. All right. They would have known that Yahweh was trying to win everybody any cause you. They would have known he was the son of Yahweh. And they wouldn't, uh, some of them wouldn't deny him. But all, all, like I said, all Pharisees didn't deny Yahweh was All right. They wouldn't have gave him no, no problems. All right. Okay. They was proclaiming they keep the law, keep the law. All right. But it's more than just keep the laws by having faith. Man, if they had faith, they would accept the Yahweh was right there. Right there on the spot. All right. <clears throat> so in the truth, man, it's not about just keeping the laws. You got do you have faith? Do you have, do you have faith in your while you have a shot? All right. And you gonna see like like today you see a lot of these uh so called Negro Latino Native Americans, um reverends, deacons, and pastors, they said they have faith. In the most high, but they go on and take that laxination and encourage the people to take that laxination. We demonstrate they don't. All right. But anyway, <laughs> and on one, they don't keep the laws anyway, you know, they're supposed to, you know. All right. Because the law is not just going to save you, it's about having faith in Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai. All right. But um, anyway, um, you know, <clears throat> anyway, on this side, we couldn't, this side right now, we couldn't keep all the laws that we could, man, you know. All right. All right. And, uh, you know, um, and when Yahweh Shai put his life on line after that, Yahweh, <laughs> you know, even before that, Yahweh stopped accepting um, sacrifices, man, because Jake was doing it in vain. Jake was was uh, transgression of law 
on purposely, man, and then run and go get like a clean house sacrifice right there. So, you know, y'all got tired of it, you know. But um, anyway, uh, it's just like, you know, it's talking to the Israelites. Like it says right here, blotting out the handwriting the ordinance that was against us. Who was getting the laws, catch commandments, the Israelites. All right, right here, Psalms. 147 verse 19. All right. He showed his word to Jacob, his statutes, his judgments unto Israel. He have not delight so with any nation as for his judgment. They have not known them. All right. So the nations, they not known y'all. <laughs> All right. They don't know him, man. All right. So right here's Jeremiah, I believe. Uh, let's see. 25 and 10. All right, let's, let me see. That's a lock. How to get it messed up? Jeremiah 10, verse 25. All right, go right here. It said, Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon thy families that call not on thy name. For they had eaten up Jacob, devoured him, consumed him, and had meddled. His habitation desolate. All right, so there you go, man. All right, he said, pour out the fury that no thee not. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, go back to this. All right, so let's talk to the Israelites. Oh, one more thing I forgot. You go right here, the Jewish Encyclopedia says, all right. It said, La Dokia. It says, Town and Ferrigio, the river, Jews lived there. Antiochus the Great, having transported 2,000 Jews found from Babylon to Fargo. All right, this is Chronicle Jephesus. Flaccus ordered the compensation temple money contributed by the Jews of uh, Laodokia to the value of more than 20 pounds of gold. All right, just got the source right there. It says, There are also a Syrian element among the population. All right, but like I said, the laws given to Israel. All right, a Christian community was founded at an early date all right and original christians were israelites all right the original christian was israelites all right so right here at acts 26 and 28 the agrippa said uh where is it that's not it i'm trying to see if there christians plural Alright, let's see. Go right here. Oh, let's not let me see first. Let's see called Christian. Wait a second. Oh, you should so I sworn it was in here. See if I could get so I know it was saying song. It said maybe was Annie out there was called Oh Christian. Maybe I'm typing too fast or something. All right. Okay, here we go. Acts eleven twenty six. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> it said when he found he brought him on to Antioch and it came to pass all year they assembled themselves at church 
and talks about people disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. All right, <laughs> who's the early disciples? The Israelites. All right, the Israelites, man. Go, matter of fact, me go to Antioch. Antioch. Let me see this one. Antioch place in Syria. Driven against capital of Syria. Yep. Capital of Syria situated in the river Orontas, founded by Cilicius Nicor in 300 BC. Name and honor his father. Antiochus, many Greek Jews, they're right there, Greek Jews lived there. It was here that the followers of Christ were called Christian. All right, these Jews that were speaking Greek, it's in the Greek culture, man. Okay. All right. So the Greeks, Gentiles, and the Bible, Paul, and they were talking to those were Israelites. All right. Those were Israelites point blank. There's no um, getting around it. All right. Let me see it. Let me see. Come on, no demons, man. <laughs> All right. Amen. So I have here Galatians 3, 28, 29. And uh, this is needed. This is very needed. I know that some of you don't want to hear this, but you have to hear it because we are not divided. We are not a body that is divided. We are all one in Christ and Christ is all. Amen. <laughs> she said not divided, but yeah, yeah, most high is divided. Let's put in the word divided in here. All right. All right. Divide it. All right, let me see. It's on all the family, Ham, Sham, and Japheth. It said, these are the families of Noah, are the generation of nation by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. <laughs> All right. What is she talking about? <laughs> All right. Go right here. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided, divided to the nations, their inheritance, which he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds a bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. <laughs> All right, we're divided, man. All right. Matter of fact, let me go right here. Let me, let me, get right here. Let me go to the uh, Let me see where that apocrypha at. All right. All right, because they're going to the, according to the number of children. They're, they're the world. The other day, they would divide according to the number of children in Israel, man. All right. So there is division, man. I'm going to show you some more example of division throughout here. Throughout the scriptures, man. All right. Let's see how All this, but not separate. Everything's separate, man. All right, most high likes order. All right. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. All right, so after these, Adam also whom thou made his Lord our creature, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who the most high chosen out of the people? All right. He chose who? Deuteronomy. All right, seven verse six. Okay. It said, "For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth." Sounds like division to me. <laughs> what a holy means, Quadash. All right. What it means, sir? Sacred mornings. Amidst a saint, sanctuary, saint, holy one. 
sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart. <laughs> set apart. All right. So Raya says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Yahweh, because thou madest the world and not say, what do Yahweh do, man? All right. He loved us so much. He divided the nations. <laughs> He divided nations according to the to our number, man. All right. All right, set. All right. <laughs> Just to show how the heavenly Father loves Israel. All right. Hey, everybody had their favorites, man. You know, like in families, man, you have your your favorites among siblings. You know, it does had it. Uh, you know, it's just how it is, man. It says, Deuteronomy 32 and 8, when the Most High divided to the nations, to the herons, he uh, separated the sons of Adam. He set the balance of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. <laughs> All right. According to the number of children of Israel, man. All right. It says, um, And also, thou mayest Lord of him come, y'all, people who are chosen it. All this have I spoke before thee, O Yah, because thou made the world for our sake, right? The world made for our sakes, man. All right? The world's ours, man. All right? It says, um, as for the other people which also come on Adam, all right? When also the whole world belonged to us anyway, you know? It said, as for the other people which also come on Adam, thou hast said they are nothing but like unto spittle. Has likened them to the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth falleth from a vessel. <laughs> As for the other people which also come out of thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like the spittle, has likened to abundance unto the drop that falleth from a vessel. <laughs> so the nations there are nothing, man. That sounds like the vision to me. Alright, you go to uh Isaiah. All right, um, let me see Isaiah, where is it, uh, I got incited, <laughs> Salak, all right, let me see, uh, let me type this down, I got incited, all right, Oh yeah, okay, I can remember it now. All right, all right, Isaiah um, forty and fifteen. It says, "Behold, the nations are a drop as a buck, and are counted as small the dust of balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls a very little thing." <laughs> Verse seventeen. Isaiah 40 verse 17 all nations are counted are all nations before him are as nothing are counted him less than nothing and vanity <laughs> all right let's see right here let's see let's see what computed. and this is why the apocalypse uh well not well I'll have to bring the apocalypse up now all right <clears throat> but uh yeah all right, yeah um I'm going to bring it up again, all right, because um, what I read, second address, 64, that's the apocrypha. That's why uh, Esau took the apocrypha out because it cuts him. All right. Let's see. Repute it. Yep. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, nothing. All right, this is Esther talking. All right. All 
All right, she said, oh, yeah, I will give not thy scepter unto them that be nothing. Let them not laugh at our fall, but turn their advice upon themselves and make them example that have begun against begun this against us. All right. So she talking about the other name, particularly in this case, she talking about um, a guy named, um, I believe it's Ham, Ham, um, Haman. All right. Haman, the, the Edomite that was uh conspiring to destroy the Israelites in the land of Elam, man. All right. <laughs> All right, so hey, that's great. Yeah, these people are these the other day. That's divisive to me, man. All right. Let's go right here. Leviticus, uh, not a scripture that divides. All right. All right, Leviticus. I think it's 20. This is 26 and 20. Or oh, 20, verse 6. All right, let me see. Uh, okay, so it's the other one. All right. I just want to know what she's talking about, man. I'm talking about the division. You should be holding on to me, I am your howl, and I have severed you from other people that you shall be mine. <laughs> There's go division right there. The Badal Sever in Hebrew. Alright. So let difference asunder separate sever utterly. <laughs> Alright. So there is division. Alright. <laughs> Mama knows what she's talking about, man. Alright. So let's play on a little video. So we have believed that um, people who have melanin all over the world are part of the Hebrew Israel. And his son, I forget. Yeah, she uh talking about uh, earlier. So I'm going to come with another... Um, Doctrine, she teaching another Jesus, man. <laughs> she going to false doctrine, man. All right. Let me see. Uh... All right, this plantation Christianity, she pushing. All right, let me see. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, Second Corinthians chapter two. Second Corinthians chapter two verse. Second Corinthians chapter. It's a lot. Second Corinthians chapter. Um, Second Corinthians chapter eleven. It's a lot. Second Corinthians chapter eleven verse uh, four. For it was he that come preaching another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which ye which you had not received another gospel, which you had not accepted, you might well bear with him. <laughs> All right. All right, so you're preaching another doctrine, man. You're preaching a uh, plantation Christianity, but basically, what is this? What is this right here? All right, this is what you, uh, you're you preaching. That's not... Uh, you're not preaching the truth. You're preaching this right here. This is who you're preaching. All right. Preaching plantation Christianity. Preaching the doctrine of of Esau, not the doctrine of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Uh, first of all, <laughs> we're not black. All right, we're Israelites. 
All right, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. All right, other Israelites, the Bible, and uh, you know, particularly I'm from the north, that came from Trafford Gad, but I grew up around Judah. All right, but uh, all right, the so-called Negroes are not black. All right, they're brown skinned. His hair is black, but he's not black like the guy on the right. All right, that's a name that was given to our Judean brothers during the uh, 17th century by the so-called white man Esau. And it's uh, not just well, about black people. All right, this happened to your people too. All right, it happened to your people too. That's why you have your GMS slot. That's why you have brothers out here teaching GMS yeah, Mexico. It's a lot of GMC. Alright, you have brothers GMS Mexico. Okay. Espanol got all the brothers in the camp, the brother on the upper left from Costa Rica. The brother uh, down for him down there. He's from Peru. Okay, assuming that you're a so-called Mexican. All right, so uh, it happened to not just a, this ain't about uh, so-called black people. All right, this is about here's like here's like so the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you said GMS H and the is about teaching us day. All right. So count four brothers, man. This is a, this is a car, brothers. Okay. You got uh, CGMS Chicago. Okay. Let's see, uh, let's see what pops up. All right, brother Red. His father is uh. Got <laughs> all his fathers from Central America, all right? So he's Zebulon, all right. You can see like old, see a couple of his so called Mexican brothers right there in the old tape from a year ago, all right. So this just ain't about black thing. The brother right there, just hanging on the sign with the glasses, Malcolm. Malcolm is so called Seminole Indian. All right, see the brother right in the glasses, so-called Mexican is a car. Trump is a car, man. All right, this ain't just a so-called black thing, man. All right, go the same brother, right, young brother, the glasses is a car. Brother right there in glasses, so-called Seminole Indian. Okay. <laughs> and believe it or not, the brother right here is a Benjamin. He may look like a so-called Mexican, but his father bloodline go back to a, uh, a, uh, so-called black man, all right, Benjamite, Benjamite man, all right, West Indian, all right, Benjamin, all right, all right, so you can't judge people by skin color, all right, I'll go right here, my brother is a car, right there in the far right in glasses, all right, so this happened to you, you went to slavery, you, your names were changed, all right, you scout all the earth too. All right. The times throughout history, I do understand what many brothers and sisters in Christ are trying to point out, but we cannot make division in the body of Christ. I have seen brothers in Christ, sisters in Christ say things like to my Christian brothers and sisters and then to the Hebrews. And this is not divided. This is not a division that we should be making. This is not a division that we should be allowing in the body of Christ. And it is unacceptable. Hey, your house shall only dealing with Israelites. All right. And I'm bringing, like I said, we're going to bring this division again. Let's see what Yahweh shall say about um, uh, my phone is about to run out. Let me plug it up quick. All right. So, uh, all right. There you go. Let's 
Let's see what y'all got there, John. Four twenty-two. What he told me, even woman. All right, this division right here. <laughs> All right, he said ye worship, ye know not. We know what we worship for salvations of the Jews, but the hour coming now is when the true worship shall worship the Father in spirit and truth. Um, um, for the Father seeks just to worcip Him. All right, when you go up a verse, Salah, I meant to read that. Yahweh has said unto a woman, "Believe me, the hour coming when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father." <laughs> All right, and then right here it says what? For salvation of the Jews. That's the vision of me. What are you talking about? Now, let's see what scripture I'm going to because she went on 25 minutes. All right, but anyway. Unacceptable. If this was the truth, I would be willing to go with the truth. But and then right here, you know, let me get this. All right, Acts. Who you how I came for? Acts uh, 5. 29. All right, it says right here, Acts chapter 5, 29. Then Peter and the other apostles and Anson said, We ought to obey the most high right of men, the power of our fathers, who raised up your house child, whom ye slew to hang on the tree. Him have him have the most high exalted his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to get repentance to Israel, forgetting of sins. Say, get repentance to Israel, not of the nation, and forgetting of sins. All right, sin is not nation. Sin is you transgressing the law. All right, it says no other nation in there. All right, sin is sin is not other nations. All right, and that's what that plantation Christianity gonna be teaching. Um, on Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, all right. You can see it right, it don't say nations, <laughs> all right. It don't say nowhere it's a nation, all right. So it kills that, all right. That's the division right there, all right. And what you're gonna try to go into, uh. But it is not the truth, and it is not Christ. Like, God did not create this doctrine. God, Jesus Christ was not preaching a division amongst the church. And God bless you all to whoever. You know what? Let's see what the most high is. Let's go down the most high. All right. All right. Let's see what the most high say again. All right. Let me see, uh, go Amos, uh, oh, a lot. oh man, my computer hacking up, man. <laughs> All right, get this right here. Try to get it back up here. Oh man. All right, Amos. <laughs> Amos 3 and 1, hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against your children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of the families of the earth, and therefore I'll punish you for all your iniquities. <laughs> all right. Let's see you go, man. Most I don't change, man. All right. You get this. Uh, he said, Only he known us, man. <clears throat> right here, the most I don't change, Malachi 3 16. Uh, I look at three, where is set? Yeah, three, let's see, uh, where is set? Now change three, I think it's now look at three, sixteen, three, eighteen, it's in there somewhere, hold on. Uh, let's see, change. Well, maybe I'll speed up, because sometimes I read. If I miss change, let me see. Uh, up in there. Yeah, Michael Cotter, three says Salak. I knew I was reading. 
Two for him, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, right? So I'm going to say, I don't change, man. He's not going to change what he said in Isaiah 40, 15, and 17. <laughs> All right? He's not going to change the other verses I read, man. All right? Hebrews, uh, let's see, 13, 8. All right? Yahweh should have told that woman. It says right here, Yahweh shall Hamas shout the same yesterday and forever. Right? So he's not changing either. We told that woman she the salvation for the Jew. Alright. Whoever is going to log on or is going to watch this later on. So here in Galatians 3:28, I want to read in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. They always read this. <laughs> they always run to that. All right, so let's go right here. Galatians uh, 3, 28. All right. Hmm. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or female. For ye all are one in... Hamashiach, Yahushai. If ye be Christ, if ye be Hamashiach, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Ye are Abraham's seed. That's singular. All right. Now, you, you may think, somebody ignorant might think um, the promise is given to the children of Israel. All right. But anyway, um, right here. It says, and the promises are the are the the, uh, the blessings. All right, the blessings. All right, all right, the blessings of um of uh, the upcoming kingdom, rulership of the kingdom, to rule all the other nations, and then to get the substance of the earth. All right, uh, immortality. Okay, all right. So and uh, you know, but anyway, all right. This is um. Let me get this. Right, it's a lock on Russian. All right. Now, uh, they would go here. They would say Greek, Hellene. All right, you Christians. All right, and you go right here. They'll say uh, Helen, Grecian, inhabitant, or inhabitant of Hellas, by extension, a Greek speaking person. <laughs> and you see how Esau telling himself, an inhabitant of Hellas. By extension, a Greek speaking person, a Greek speaking per Greek speaking person be someone for the other nations. It's, you see right here, then it says right here, he comes, especially a non Jew Gentile Greek. <laughs> All right, so he's trying to throw you off by extension, a Greek speaking person. <laughs> All right, so you know, the Jews spoke Greek wherever they were scattered at, man. All right, then right, you try to try, you try, try to get slit, say not Jews. All right, but if you read right here, all right, you go back. Okay. You go back. All right. It says right here, uh, but before faith, we were kept under the law, shut up until the faith. But you know, who was kept under the law? Who was the law given it to? I'm going to go this again. You know what? I'm going to go right here. All right. Deuteronomy 33, verse 1. All right. It says Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. And this is the blessing where Moses, the man, of the Most High blessed the children of Israel for his death, and he said, Yahweh came from Sinai, rose up from Sierra unto them that he shined forth. Mount Paran, he came with ten thousand, ten thousands of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for him. <laughs> Who was getting the law? The children of Israel. All right, then you hear the word saints. All right, Kodash, there you go, right there. Kodash, when it means what? Sacred thing, rarely abstracted, consecrated, dedicated, hollow, wholeness, portrait and saint, sanctuary. All right. 
Division right there. Apartness, sacred holiness. Apartness, there go division right there. Okay. Then you read, it's, it's going to tell you again. All right. It says, uh, Ye, he loved the people, all his saints. Are now in thy hand, they sat down, and I fear everyone else to receive thy word. Moses commanded us a law even to inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun with the heads of the people of the tribes of Israel were gathered together. All right. <laughs> All right. So they let you know who you're talking, talking about in the Galatians chapter 3, 28. All right. The crew of saints are Israelites. In the Bible, when it says saints, also the Greeks. We're talking about the Greeks. Those are Israelites. In the Bible, the Greeks, Paul talking about those are Israelites, not other nations. Those are Greeks speaking. Um... Uh, Jews, man. All right. <laughs> All right. So, you know. You see it right here. Man. Brethren, I speak at the matter of me. All right. Paul said brethren. All right. So, you know, all right. Galatians 3 13, it said, Hamasha had redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for it is written the curse is everyone that hangeth from the tree. The curse of the law. Who's giving the law? Yeah, I was shy. All right. All right. Cause like I said, the law just not going to save you. You got to have faith. All right. And you got to be sincere, sincere, man. And it's true. All right. So there you go, man. All right, she talking to the Israelites that was living in Galatia. I mean, he Paul was talking to Salah. Paul was talking to the Israelites that were living in Galatia. All right, you go right here to the Jewish Encyclopedia. It says right here. It said in the industrial age of Minor after twenty five B.C. a prominent Roman Empire, there was a Jewish seven there which many have been founded by Antiochus the Great, who has set many Jewish families to Asia Minor as colonists. The proof for the existence of Jews in Galatia, according to many, is given by the edit of Augustus, which according to Josephus, right, you see right here, was published in the word Ankara, doubtful a better proof may be had from inscriptions found in Galatia relating to the Jews, all right? So those are Israelites, Paul, talking to Galatia, so we're talking to another nation. All right, um, go right here. Matter of fact, <laughs> all right, it's proven. Everybody came me say, What is that? Hebrews 12 16. This is what he saw. It said, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. It said, Lest there be any foreign came profane person, Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, for you know, after he would have inherited the blessing, he was. Rejected for he found no place of repentance though he saw the careful care. All right, so in order to to be saved, you gotta be able to be able to repent. But say he found no place of repentance. <laughs> All right, so the nation's not gonna be saved, man. All right, it says uh, I think put separate in here. Let me get that. This here. I think I've seen somewhere in the New Testament. <laughs> yep. All right. Second um, Corinthians six verse seventeen. <laughs> All right. We'll start with six sixteen. And what agreement had the temple of the most high eyes? For ye are a living temp are ye living temple of of the most high. As the most said, I will dwell there then and walk in, I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, be ye separate, said Yahweh, and touch not the unclean thing that I receive receive you. <laughs> All right. So there you go, Moses says separate, man. It's separation all throughout the scriptures, man. Alright. Let's go right here, go to another one. Revelation. 
1392. Who put us in slavery? The so-called white man, Esau, Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, Ham, the so-called Africans. It says right here, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leads captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patient of faith of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. All right. <laughs> All right, they'll go right there. Let nobody gonna be, no other nation is gonna be saved. That's separation right there. All right, well, y'all just said in John four twenty two to the heathen woman, that was separation. <laughs> uh, Acts five twenty nine thirty one, Paul said that Yahweh Shai is a prince, a savior to Israel. You're going to get repentance to Israel. The separation. Why right, this woman know what she's talking about? <laughs> All right. And you know, you all, you know, you're going to try to go to John 3 16. I know you all going to try to go to that. For God so loved the world that he only gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe him should not perish but have everlasting life. All right. What is it? World Cosmos. All right. And Cosmos. Orly decorate location of the worldwide and neural sense of cloning. This happens literally, figuratively, but you know. Um, Adam and Rage, Constitution, Order, Government, Adornment, Heavenly Host, Ornament, World, Universe, Circle of the Earth. All right. But you know, it's not talking about that. Like, you got the world of animals, you got the world of. Uh, you got the world of uh, electronics. You got the world of martial arts. You got the world of uh, toys. All right. You got the world of video gamers. You got the world of uh, of uh, archaeologists. Right. You got the world of game banging. Okay. So it's not talking about that. All right. You go right here. Um, Israel. Let me see. Um, Isaiah. I think it's forty-seven. 15. This is what it's talking about. Um, it's a lot. I'm always to get that messed up. Isaiah 45 and 17. Is that it? It says, But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed or confound the world while out in. All right, so those who John 3 16 is talking about, man. How can other nations be saved All right, when they're going straight up in slavery? Then you go right here, Revelation 2, verse 26. Have this salvation. So, Revelation 2 and 26, He that will come and keep my words until the end to him, I will give power to nations, and he shall rule with them as a rod of iron, as a vessel part of shall, shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my Father. <laughs> right? That don't sound like salvation to me. That don't sound like salvation to me, man. All right, go right here. I see. Uh, go back to the old testament. All right, we believe in a whole book. You know what I'm saying? All right, you know, I was trying to quote it. You see, Paul quoted the uh, old testament. You like Christians, you like to say, matter of fact, let me go right here, right quick. Have you fast 17? You know, how shall I say, yeah. All right, it said, think not I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come to destroy, I, I am come, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I said, how shall I tell you that he come not to destroy the law? All right, what people say the Old Testament is for, for verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth pass one jot, one tittle, and no wide pass from law to all be fulfilled. Whosoever does for us shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. All right, sister, I'm using that term loosely. All right, it said, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of you Christians like to say, oh, the law been done away with and the Old Testament been done away with. No, they have not. All right, you're right here. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Here go the vision right here. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, will choose, yet choose Israel, except in their own land. A stranger shall be joined with them. A stranger of Israelites from another land. All right. Shall be joined with them. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. The house of Israel shall possess them, the land of Yahweh, for service and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. Who captives were? 
the so-called white man, the so-called Arab, the so-called African, the so-called East Indians, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese. They shall rule over the oppressors. And it shall come to pass that day, Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, from thy fear, from the hard bondage where thou was made to serve. <laughs> all right. So, you know, that's it for now, man. All right. I'll just show you there's the vision all throughout the Bible. Okay. All right. There's the vision between Israel and the other nations. The other nations are not going to receive salvation. They will serve hardcore slavery. All right. So, this is it. And uh, shout out.